Do you want to know the best part of my job? Well, first it's to help people, obviously to help specifically people that were in my similar situation. But I have been so lucky to collect stories. Now I always start off the last part of my presentation as saying there is an opposite to bullying. And of course people sort of sit on the edge of their seats, kind of wrinkle their brow, start to lean forward a little bit. Do you know what the opposite of bullying is? It's kindness. The opposite of bullying are acts of kindness, whether they be small or great, whether they come from an individual or an entire school. I used to close my presentations with the story of a young lady who happened to be a cheerleader in uh, Michigan. She went out to be a cheerleader on her team because she saw someone on a TV show, much like her, who happened to have Down syndrome. This person on the TV show made the cheer squad and so did this young lady. And one time when a couple boys were, were saying some, some hurtful things to her, a basketball player actually stopped and stood up for her. Now that story made national news and in fact, the entire boys basketball team appeared on the Today Show. And I used to close every presentation with that story and, and I stood up in front of every school this past year and said, I would love for something like that to come from this school. And the great thing was, the story started to roll in. The first was from a couple of boys who unfortunately had a classmate that was going through some pretty tough medical issues. So they decided to make a flyer and send it home with every kid in their school simply asking for a dollar. And in one week, those two brothers earned over $1,000 that they simply put in an envelope and sent to the family of their sick classmate. And the stories kept coming because every new school that I would go to, I would show the story of the last school. Recently, a boys basketball team around Valentine's Day decided that they would get all dressed up, take a rose, and go to a retirement community right down the road. They had a date with all of the occupants where they danced, and they had dinner together and presented them with roses. An entire school stood on their gym floor and, and spelled out the words A-C-T as they were standing there to stand for act calm and confident, call on people that can help you and, and tell yourself that you're not the problem. And the greatest part of my job is that I can continue to get those stories from, from people all over the area. And I get to tell those stories of kindness. And ultimately what we're really hoping for is that in a culture of kindness, whether it be in our schools or in our communities, something like bullying is so foreign and so odd that people won't stand by that they will help each other out, that they will encourage each other and be kind to one another.